Good afternoon for the third time, ladies and gentlemen. It is your buddy, the 14th Prime. I promise you, I'm going to leave y'all alone after this video. So, Hasbro, okay, I understand next year is the 40th anniversary. I was eight years old. I remember all of these like it was yesterday. I'm, I'm low-key excited um, that y'all are reissuing these. Now, I do have the new Perceptor. Um, so I'm not going to go backwards and go back to the one that I had as a child. I do have the original Perceptor Soundwave and um, Blaster because they were cool in the 80s because that was the thing. Boom boxes and Walkmans and, and microscopes. That was what was going on in, in the 80s. Um, so, but I am pleased to announce and show y'all these first images of the 86 movie. Y'all know that's my favorite movie of all times. 86 Perceptor, well not 86 Perceptor, but the movie Perceptor, basically meaning the old toy. Um, and they gave him his little, t the old tank mode that I think was added later because I don't remember that being in the instructions in 1986. But, um, yeah, this guy, come on, man. It, I know you kids nowadays, like if you're in your 20s, 30s, even maybe 30s, you might not know what a microscope is, what one of these are. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, man, that was like one of the coolest scientific gadgets back then ever and the fact that he was a scientist and like it had the little the little slides that you could put on uh to look under at uh, through the microscope it was awesome um y'all got me pulling out my old toys like i went and this is my uh special japanese version g1 megatron 100 percent complete um in his faithful walther p38 mode i actually own this gun in real life not a transformer one but um because I because of Megatron like that was I loved this gun when I was a kid um my dad sent me into the store I showed it to him and then we he waited till we got in the car and he told me go back and get it and I cried the whole way home holding it now even better so um a friend of mine who is he passed away uh about 20 years ago when we were in fourth grade, he brought his sound wave to school and sat him on the desk. And I remember staring at that toy all day long because I was like, I at the time I had Optimus, I had Megatron, Omega Supreme and Fort Max didn't have sound wave. It was just hard to find. And I remember just being like, man, if I could only have the, the transforming cassette deck, that would be absolutely amazing. Um and they're reissuing it. You know what I mean? Actually, and be honest with you, Blaster is still at Walmart. Like, now, you can that came out a little while ago. But I guess they're redoing it. I was lucky enough to find the newest uh, Blaster. Was that uh, Kingdom? Yeah, Kingdom Blaster. Funny story, but you got to go back like a year on my channel to find out what happened. I went to buy this at Walmart, and they would not sell it to me. And then when they did, it rang up as like $88. But anyway, that's an old video. Just go about a year back and you'll see. But this is so iconic. I remember carrying Blaster around as a kid. And the one back then didn't come with a tape. Because Steel Jaw and Rewind and Eject um, weren't even heard of until after the 86 movie. I remember carrying this thing around on my shoulder like it was an actual boombox. So yes, I had a real boombox, but I thought it was cool to have a transforming one and then to have like sound wave and uh blaster um together was just crazy but the thing was blaster back was like way bigger than sound wave awesome toy well really really awesome toy but um yeah i'm just excited that you know you guys will get to see you know how cool these vintage toys were um I have the G1 versions of all three. Um, I have the Snowmobile uh, Perceptor. Uh, my other favorite Soundwave and Blaster was in the Bumblebee line. Um, it was a Target exclusives, and they turned into the great big boom boxes. They're equal size. They're like 12-inch figures. but um, And then they turned into like a newer-looking boom box and radio with like the radio stations on it but i mean this is just this is exciting you know what i mean like just to like i said i'm not really big on like i like the fact that they're bringing the old toys back with like newer articulation or you know a little bit of newer and look at the they even brought the old box the old box with the tech specs on the back used to come with a little red decoder card that you could put on it and see how strong they were 
I'm, it's just the nostalgia is crazy. Um, now, this is what I don't understand. How come Blaster only comes with Steel Jaw, but Soundwave comes with Laser Beak and Ravage? Um, explain that. I mean, we can, can we get can we get an eject with him? Exactly, son. That's how I feel. So, but uh, looking at these guys, like they look amazing. My G1 Soundwave did not hold up well. His legs do not hold him. He can barely stand up. Uh, but will I buy this one? And eh, no, no, no. Um, I mean, I would rather buy the newer, you know, um, Netflix. Uh, sound wave that turns into a radio, but it's not that serious. And I'm gonna show you why at the end of the video. But like, the, just seeing the iconic laser beak and and the little skinny ravage, and now I'm wondering if that's uh, if his chest is painted that way, or if that's what laser beak looks like inside of his chest. Either way, it still looks amazing. Um, for those of y'all, if you even know what a tape player is. The, you know, this was before CDs, after Laserdisc. Um, great toys. Great toys in the 80s. Uh, I love the old box deco, the 40th anniversary. So this is what I need y'all to do, um, Hasbro. Since we celebrating the 40th anniversary and we bringing all these old toys back, can we get Unicron? See this picture on the back of this box? That was my lunchbox when I was a kid. And I carried that lunchbox through elementary school and middle school, thermos and all. Um, even if it wasn't a minute, I just still, I loved that lunchbox. But actually here you can see there is a, a height difference between Blaster and Soundwave um, as it was. So to me, I believe this is the faithful renditions. But last but not least, here's my babies right here. The Bumblebee uh, movie, um, why and they weren't in it, but this blaster turns into a city, a robot, and the boombox. That's my favorite one because he's a. Is it was it Titans? No, it was yeah, it was Bumblebee. It was Bumblebee because um, it was Target exclusives. And a dude that I worked with, his wife worked at Target, and she sat it aside for me because it wasn't supposed to come out. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, and then I got this one, the Soundwave version, which is the same old. Just a better looking radio, also turns into a city, also turns into a robot, and they're both headmasters. Man! So that's why I'm saying I'm a pass on like the retro ones because these are way better. But anyway, it's your buddy the 14th Prime. Y'all have a good one.